this video we will take a look at the Neural Network Fitting app that was introduced with Origin Pro 2020. The app ships with the sample project. We will use data from that sample project in this video. Let's now open the app web page. You can see that this app requires R software to be installed on your PC. If you do not have R, please follow the instructions to install R before beginning. Let's start with a curve fitting example. Let's open the app with the graph active. We will assign number of layers, number of hidden neurons in each layer to be 12. We'll set training repetitions to 3. Set activation function to be tangent hyperboliscus. We also want to predict new y values for a given set of x values. Let's assign that under the prediction tab. We will point to the column that has our x values. Click OK to perform the fit. From the graph and the fit report, we can see that we obtained a very good fit to the data. The predicted Y values are stored in the second output sheet created by the app. Let's copy that column over to the raw data sheet next to the set of X values. Now we can drag and drop the predicted data points onto the original graph and customize those points. For our second example, we will look at a more complex fitting process involving multiple independent variables. Here I have some training data, or known samples, where there are four independent variables. Sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. The dependent variable is the species. Note that this species column is set as categorical in origin. So internally, origin assigns the number 1, 2, 3 to the category entries. On the right side, we have a set of independent variable columns for unknown species. The goal is to use the app to find the species assignment for these entries. Let's launch the app, then assign our independent data and dependent data from the trading data block. Let's set the number of layers to 3, the number of hidden neurons in each layer to 4, 3, 2. Notice the space character between the numbers. Set the training repetitions to 3. Set threshold of error function to 0 0.02. And set activation function to logistic. Now let's go to the prediction tab and assign the independent variables from our unknown species block. Click OK to perform the fit. And from the fit report sheet, we can see we obtained a very good fit to the data. As before, the predicted results are stored in the second sheet created by the app. Let's switch to the raw data sheet and under our unknown species column, Go to the FX formula row and open the set values dialog. We will add a range variable to point to the prediction column from the app's output.
When I click Apply, I can see the prediction values were copied over. Note that these values are not integer numbers. Let's round them off to the nearest integer. We now have the species determined for our unknown data set. Now I have already created a two-panel graph with the training data, where I have plotted sepal width versus length and petal width versus length, and I have used the species information to color the dots. So you can see three distinct groups for the three species of Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. Now let's drag and add the data from the unknown samples. Let's add the sepal width versus length columns to the left panel. We can then set the color to index on the species column that was from the AFS output. You can see that the color assignments match very well with the known data, thus demonstrating that the app predicted the species value for the unknown data set correctly. Lastly, let's repeat the same for petal width versus length. Again, you can see from the color assignments that the predicted species match very well with the data points from the training data set. Thank you for watching this video on the Neural Network Fitting app. Download a trial version of Origin Pro 2020 today to try the app with your data.